Friends, family, and loved ones, we are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Jennifer Labadia and Alex Bartholomew in marriage. Today not only marks a culmination of the first stage of their lives together, it also marks the beginning of their shared life as a married couple. Having met each other 11 summers ago at Fairfield, Alex and Jenny's journey has spanned across multiple states, educational experiences, living situations, and jobs. They have spent over 2,000 days together as boyfriend and girlfriend, over 1,000 days together as fiancés, but today is the first day in which they will be husband and wife. Jenny, my confidant, my partner, my best friend, my beautiful, beautiful Jimmy. You once asked me if I would still like you once school started. <laughs> I've thought about that question more times than I can count. How could I possibly let this beautiful brown-eyed girl with a dimple disappear? You are what I dreamt of. You are what I envision. What love is. What love could be. Usually I have the worst memory, but I remember our early days so well. I remember Renze introducing us in the quad during senior week. I remember you trying to flirt with me at the townhouse party. I remember running out of the golf cart because I was scared you were going to kiss me. <laughs> but then a few short weeks later texting you that it was International Kissing Day. I remember our first kiss in your dorm room, you telling me I want one of those. I remember kissing you in the Kelly Center parking lot and romantic walks at St. Mary's by the Sea. I remember falling in love with you so easily in those early days. I remember moving across the country, but deciding that we didn't want to let each other go and then fighting to make it work. And now here we are, 10 and a half years later, still fighting, still loving each other. We have both changed a lot over the years, but our love remains constant. I have watched Jenny and Alex's relationship grow from senior year of college at Fairfield University. Go Stacks. <laughs> until now, 11 years later. During our senior year, Alex basically lived in our dorm room with us. <laughs> and since that time, I have always felt like I gained another brother. Alex is a fierce and loyal friend. When he chooses you, you know that he will have your back through the hard times and the fun ones too. Alex, you've been a part of our family for a long time now, and I'm so glad it's official. I couldn't ask for a better brother-in-law. <laughs> it looks so good. Wow. It's <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, that's good. Your tux looks so good. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. In the summer of 2012, Alex and some friends were hosting a game night. The game was taboo. So being the annoying little brother that I am, I decided to pull up. Now, Alex had only told me about Jenny and those dimples, nothing else. He didn't really mention that things were getting serious, but one of Alex's groomsmen was on demon time. He suggested that we split the teams up and we do a draft. So he gave Alex the first pick. With the first pick in the taboo draft, Alex Bartholomew selects Jenny Labadia. <laughs> Imagine my reaction. I was hurt, sitting there, embarrassed, shocked. Mind you, I wonder about the dimples. I'm like, who is this girl? Oh, that's a girl with the dimples. Oh, that's her. What did Alex do? He embraced her in the big hug. He's like, yeah, I got you on my team. I'm sitting back and I'm shocked. I looked over at Alex, he with the Jordan shrug. So I knew. A month later, Alex and Jenny became official. Lasting relationships are never effortless. They take commitment, patience, care, and an unconditional amount of love for one another. You each have loving qualities that have been passed down by those that have loved and cared for you and nurtured by the siblings and friends that surround you. 
We are all so proud of the devotion that you have shown one another. We are filled with joy to witness the commitment we know you will honor for the rest of your lives. You are my best friend, my favorite cuddle buddy, after Ziggy, my confidant, <laughs> my shoulder to cry on, the person I lean on. You hype me up when I'm feeling down. You calm me down when I'm feeling anxious. I don't tell you often, but I admire who you are so much. You're kind, sweet, and caring. I love when you show me your sweet side when it's just the two of us, when you talk in a, in a baby voice and cuddle with me, when you rub my hand while making the little giggle sound you do. I cherish those moments so much. I promise to hold your hand when you sneak it into mine and start swinging it. I promise to dance with you. I promise not to keep count of our arguments even when I'm winning. <laughs> I promise to protect you even when you don't need it. I promise to lead you when it's time to lead and follow you when it's time to follow. I promise to open up with you, to let you in my heart when it's distressed. I promise to see you, to truly see you. I promise to hear you and let you speak. I promise to go on adventures with you and share the world with you. I promise to raise Ziggy and our future children with you in love and in grace. I promise to be the man that you always wanted, loved, and needed. And most importantly, I promise to love you with every cell in my body with every breath that I take from this day to my last. I promise to always try to do the same for you, to lift you up in the same ways that you lift me up and in the ways that you want to be lifted up. I promise to love you and always be by your side through all of life's ups and downs. I promise to always root for you, cheer you on, and be your biggest fan. I promise to try really hard to watch basketball with you more often because I know you like when I do that, but sorry I can't do football. <laughs> I promise to stop moving your stuff where you can't find it, even if I am just trying to clean the apartment. I promise to plan more date nights with you, just the two of us. I promise to try and communicate better, to be more patient and less stubborn. I promise to strive to do my best for you and to be the person that you need me to be. I know we won't always get it right, but I promise to always keep trying and I promise to love you unconditionally. In front of your closest friends and family, and by the authority given to me by the state of Connecticut, I now pronounce you husband and wife, Alex, you may kiss your bride. Eleven years ago in Alex's dorm, was your last first kiss as boyfriend and girlfriend. And today at your ceremony was your last first kiss as husband and wife. When times get tough, you have 11 years worth of kisses to fall back on. A guest who really wanted to be here wanted me to pass his message along to my landlord, Sal. May all your ups and downs be under the sheets. Thank you all for allowing me to talk your ears off and cheers to years of happiness between Jenny and Alex. Cheers, y'all. See you on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs>